So I'm here in Glasgow at BAE Systems site where the first steel cutting of the Type 26 has just taken place. Today the Secretary of State Michael Fallon announced that the vessels will be known as the City Class and the first vessel will be known as the HMS Glasgow. We spoke to the Secretary of State about the programme. Well, this is a huge moment today. This signals nearly 20 years' worth of work for the Clyde in building what will be the backbone of the Royal Navy. Eight anti-submarine frigates that will help guard the nuclear deterrent, will help guard our new aircraft carriers, and will be the core of the Royal Navy fleet around the world, working with allies, protecting our trade routes, and keeping this country safe. Well, we have to make sure that we keep the fleet numbers up, so we have to have have the Type 26s com coming along in time to replace the oldest of the Type 23s as they retire. Well, these are anti-submarine frigates. They're the quietest um, submarine hunters ever built, the most sophisticated warships uh, around, and they will help uh, uh, search and uh, locate uh, submarines that uh, may have hostile intent uh, towards us. They'll be able to deal with those. You've seen the gun on the front of the ship and uh, its uh, ability also to uh, carry out other missions from the compartment in the centre of the ship that could provide humanitarian aid or, um, or, uh, or troops to land uh, 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 to, uh, to carry out uh, military operations as well. Okay. Well, the Royal Navy sits at the heart of our defence, um, gu guarding our, our country, keeping our sea lanes open, working with our allies and other navies to deal with threats to the United Kingdom and the frigates sit at the centre of the Royal Navy. They will be the backbone of the fleet for years to come. So the Type 26 is coming in at around a billion pounds per vessel. Um, so many are asking the question, what extra capabilities will this bring the Royal Navy? So for this and more coverage of the UK Royal Navy's fleet, do check out the maritime side of the Shepherd Media website.